Remember what we said in our first round of advice about how to learn and practice German nouns? Well, everything pretty much equally applies to verbs. So remember what we said then. To develop the trifecta, motivation, good learning habits, and being in charge, might take some time, and it's definitely an ongoing process. But what's special and exciting about dealing with verbs is that we're now moving from static objects to dynamic actions, which allows us to take a slightly different route in approaching our learning targets. What remains the same in all the learning games we're going to propose to you, though, is that apart from actually doing them, you always have to speak loudly and clearly, even if you're doing them on your own. So, are you ready? Lights, camera, action. The main thing about all these learning games is that you have fun. Then the motivation will automatically follow. So feel free to adapt them to your personal liking, invent variations, or even produce completely new games. Feel at liberty to do whatever you want to do, as long as you do something. In other words, be active, be in charge. Was machst du? You can play this game alone, but it's much more fun with somebody else. So get together with a study buddy, chat chap, pen pal, conference comrade, mull it over with mate, whatever. Just remember that languages are mainly there for communicating and socializing. We've prepared a number of simple activities in the infinitive form, like nach Sydney gehen, tennis spielen, Musik hören, for you. Now make cards from them. You can print the list, cut and paste, or just write them by hand. Then mix the cards and put them in front of you upside down, with each of you getting an even number of cards. One of you lifts up the first card and asks the other a question based on what you have on the card. So if you picked up the nach Sydney gehen card, you ask, "Gehst du nach Sydney?" Your partner now answers the question in the positive with, "Ja, ich gehe nach Sydney." Most of what you say is not true, of course, but for once you're most welcome to lie. After you have directly asked each other the questions for a while, you can switch over to the plural and pretend to be a whole group of people. So you now ask, "Geht ihr nach Sydney?" With the answer, "Ja, wir gehen nach Sydney." You can also change to the polite form. Gehen Sie nach Sydney? Where there are two possible responses, a singular and a plural one. Ja, ich gehe nach Sydney. Ja, wir gehen nach Sydney. Or you can ask about a friend. Geht sie nach Sydney? Ja, sie geht nach Sydney. Geht er nach Sydney? Ja, er geht nach Sydney. Play it as a contest with each correct question and each correct answer scoring a point, or play just for the heck of it. The main thing is have fun. Here are the infinitives you can copy onto cards. Nach Sydney gehen. To go to Sydney. In Brisbane wohnen. To live in Brisbane. Tennis spielen. To play tennis. Eine Karte schreiben. To write a postcard. Ein Brot kaufen. To buy a loaf of bread. Deutsch studieren. To study German at uni. Peter, Barbara, heißen. To be called Peter, Barbara. Viel arbeiten. To work a lot. Musik hören. To listen to music. Kaffee trinken. To drink coffee. Ein Spiel machen. To play a game. In Deutschland wandern. To go hiking in Germany. Ein Lied singen. To sing a song. In Australien bleiben. To stay in Australia. Heute kochen. To cook today. Nach Berlin fliegen. To fly to Berlin. Die Dictionary. 
We can't play Pictionary in its original form as we don't have a large enough vocab yet, and don't want to rely on having a whole group of people playing. So here's our German variation. Hence, D Dictionary. You take turns at drawing and guessing, but you have only ten seconds to draw and for your partner to guess the action. Both the drawer and the guesser can score a point in each round. The guesser only gets a point if their answer is expressed in correct German. The drawer gets a point if their opponent can guess what they've drawn, regardless of correct German. The guesser should use the second person singular, i.e., the du form. So, if your partner draws a stick person waving their arms around in some wavy lines indicating water, and you say correctly, "Du schwimmst," both you and the drawer get a point. If you get the action right, but not the German, only the drawer will get a point. The drawer always picks the top card of the stack and returns the card to the bottom once the drawing is completed. You can use the same cards you prepared for the previous game, but you only have to draw the verb, not the whole action described by the card. So, nach Sydney gehen is reduced to gehen, which means both to go and to walk. However, use common sense. If you get the card ein Spiel machen, you would draw two people playing a board game. To make it more interesting, we've enlarged your verb pool so you can throw some more cards into the mix and learn some more verbs in the process. The verbs are: baden, to bathe, denken, to think, liegen, to lie, leben, to live, fragen, to ask. Suchen, to look for, zahlen, to pay, surfen, to surf, joggen, to jog, warten, to wait, zelten, to camp, lachen, to laugh, telefonieren, to phone, malen, to paint. They're all regular verbs with the normal st ending in the second person singular, the du form. Watch out for the verbs whose stems end in d or t, which add an e before the st, like du arbeitest, du badest, du wartest, du zeltest. Have fun.